Good afternoon, dear friends. My name is Dragana Trivkovic. I am the director of the Center for Geostrategic Studies from Serbia. Today we celebrate together the 4th of July, the International Day of Independence from American Influence. This initiative started at the suggestion of our colleague from Austria, Patrick Popel, and the Center for Geostrategic Studies from Serbia was happy to support it. The trademark of this campaign is the message from the West Berlin billboard, you're leaving the American sector. Speaking of which, we should remember the fact that American occupation army is still present on European soil more than 70 years after the end of the Second World War. But it's not just Europe. America has hundreds of military bases all over the world, from Honduras, Australia, Japan, Iraq, Qatar, to Germany and Italy, covering all continents. According to David Wine, professor of political anthropology at the American University in Washington and author of the book on American bases, the United States of American, America has about 800 military bases in more than 70 states and regions. Several hundred thousand American soldiers are present in these bases. So there is no similar example of troop deployment anywhere in the world. And the basic question we want to ask is, what have these American bases achieved? Is the world a safe place today, thanks to the deployment of American soldiers? It is enough to analyze the results of United States invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. Billions of dollars were invested in these wars when Washington allegedly launched a war on terror. As a result, the world faced for the first time the race of organized international terrorism, millions of lives lost and refugees left without their homes. After the American interventions, the states remained in a much worse condition than they were. I must also mention the NATO intervention or aggression against Yugoslavia in 1999, the goal of which was for America to build the largest military base in Europe on the territory of the occupied southern Serbian province of Kosovo and Metohija. The name of this base is Camp Bonstil. To achieve that goal, they used strategic bombarders and prohibited weapons with depleted uranium. Serbia has become the leading country in Europe in terms of the number of cancerous disease, thanks to American mercy. So the entire Balkans has been destabilized thanks to America's destructive appetites, but not only Balkans, also the Middle East, Africa, Latin America as well. That is why it's time to put an end to that dark period of history and make it clear to Americans, please go home. We don't need your democracy without basic human rights that you introduce with bombs. We ourselves want to take care of our countries and you take care of your problems, not ours. For Europe, this is a decisive moment and a matter of survival. Unless all of Europe leaves the American sector, there is no future for it. Unfortunately, many in Europe do not understand these facts. So, still captivated but by Hollywood and American dream. So, Latin America can understand today issue much better because it has suffered far more from American hegemony. Today we see the free world uniting against Western arrogance and rejecting American omnipotence. That's why today, when we celebrate the first International Day of Independence from American influence, we want to tell them, Americans, you have become unwelcome everywhere. You cannot rule our lives and the time of your omnipotence is over. So please go home. Dear friends, receive many ratings from Serbia. With a great pleasure, we will continue our cooperation and joint struggle to build a better world. To victory.
Was ist unser Leben wert, wenn allein regiert das Schwert und die ganze Welt zerfällt in Boden? Nicht geschehen, denn wir wollen nicht untergehen. Und so rufen wir durch unser deutsches Land.